One of the more difficult elements of the consumer duty is understanding the FCA's expectations in relation to measuring fair value. As one of the four outcomes, price and value is an integral part of the duty. And manufacturers are required to review their products and services to ensure that they avoid foreseeable harm, that they assist customers to achieve their financial objectives and have been created in good faith. And part of this assessment is the value assessment, where firms evaluate whether their pricing structure could cause a breach of the cross-cutting rules. This sounds simple enough. However, it's apparent that firms are taking different approaches to completing these assessments. This short webinar will review such approaches, analyzing their advantages and disadvantages in the lights of the updates from the FCA. My name is Robert Bell, owner of RB Compliance Consultancy and speaker on behalf of MVL Seminars. My background's in law and financial services compliance and as part of my consultancy role, I've helped multiple firms implement the duty and this essentially means that I'm uniquely placed to share the common challenges and solutions these firms have identified. So in today's session, we'll be covering the requirements of PRINT 2A.4, an overview of the different approaches that you can take to measure fair value, the FCA's own view on value assessments that they've seen to date, and they've been asking for quite a few of those in, in different interactions, as we'll learn. The analysis of different methods and data points that can be used and how to draw conclusions.